Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Father Bob Gross. It's 7.40 on Tuesday, April 13th. My coffee's brewing. It's going great. So I hope you're enjoying your day. Uh, the sun came out yesterday. We're happy about that. I slept in a little bit today. All that we've been through the last month has been starting to catch up with me. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, my coffee's uh, brewing, and we'll start here in a few moments. So, I know I'm a little later, so some people are probably getting ready to go to work, but remember, this is always uh, on the Facebook page when you come back and are able to watch. Got my coffee here. Let's turn on a light here. Okay, well, here we are. I um, want to pick up my series that I started last week, <clears throat> which is uh, looking at the life of the Spirit, the risen life, the risen life of the Spirit, and we're looking specifically at the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. So let's go through them. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, Courage, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, courage or fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Those are the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Every single Christian is given those seven gifts in baptism, and they are sealed in confirmation. And we're going to go through the seven gifts. Uh, we went through fear of the Lord, and then I believe we looked at wisdom. I forgot the ones we looked at. Maybe I've done one on understanding. Well, repetition is good if I did do that. So, fear of the Lord and, and understanding. Uh, so today we're going to look at the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding. Um, and the definition of the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding is to know more deeply the mysteries of the faith. The ability to know more deeply the mysteries of the faith. And here's the crazy thing I want to say to you today. Did you know that we know more about the gospel of Jesus than the apostles did? What if I would say this to you, that we know Jesus better than the apostles did in one sense? Right? So Jesus promised in his Last Supper discourse that I will send the Holy Spirit to you and he will remind you of all truth. You cannot bear all that I want to say to you right now. So for these last 2,000 years, the Holy Spirit has been guiding the church into a deeper understanding of who Jesus Christ is and the ramifications of him coming to this earth to save us from sin and death. So did St. Peter know that Jesus came to save us from sin and death? Yes. Rough, but for us 2,021 years later, we can understand that statement even better because of the Holy Spirit. So I like this one image I've used uh, through the Easter season. What we're hearing in the Acts of the Apostles and what we celebrate at Easter is the acorn. But we're part of the oak tree that was an acorn. So we know things more deeply. So that's why we should never stop learning more about our faith, asking for a deeper understanding of our faith. Because there are times when we get stumped, and that's the moment where we need the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding. So whatever you struggle with with the church, whatever you ponder in your heart, wherever you have doubt in your faith, a great gift for to pray for and ask for a greater abundance of is the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding. Unlock this, Lord, for me. Help me understand it more deeply. So that's what uh, we need to pray for. So, for example, is there a church teaching that you struggle with? I'll give one that a lot of Catholics struggle with, and that is the church's teaching on artificial contraception. The way to use the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding is help me, Holy Spirit, understand 
what the church is teaching here. What is the real reason why? Some people are scandalized by the problem of evil. If there is a good God, why does evil happen? Jesus, send your Holy Spirit of understanding to help me under, understand that. Um, those are just two examples. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit's gift of uh, understanding. And if I did this gift again, you get a bonus, uh, a bonus treatment of it. So let's pray this prayer of the Holy Spirit, asking for the Spirit's gift of understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a great day. Love the Lord and his people. Bye-bye.